What's up guys? Uh, today I got sent a question from the Guppy Fish Keepers Facebook group, which I'm the admin of. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to join and just post your questions there on Guppy Fish. Um, I'm actually going to, instead of answering this, do just like a little vlog answering it. And I figured I'd, uh, I always post these on the YouTube in case they'll help future people with the same kind of similar questions. So, um, and, and also if you have any questions that you want me to do videos on or anything just hit the comments and I'll do a little video vlog and tag you in it so it's that easy yes I'm driving but it doesn't mean I can't do this so um, the question today is my guppy fish keep dying and uh, this is posted all the time and this is kind of just like a basic fish keeping question actually because chances are if your fish keep dying something's not right with your tank unless you have, if you've had your tank running for like more than three months and you have other fish that are completely fine, then it's the fish. Like, and this is very common with guppies. Sorry. It's very common with guppies because guppies breed and breed and breed. The nickname, the million fish, suits them very well because that's what they're known to do. They just breed. To be completely honest, they don't live super long lives, so it's not uncommon for them to die. They're, they're, they are a super, super hardy fish once you get them into established aquarium. and uh, it's. But no matter what, I get some guppies home, and especially from big, big pet pet store chain chain stores uh, i hate to give out names but pet smart pet co uh pet pet land i think it's called um they're really known for this when you get fish home into your salvage tank they just die it's the fish guys it's um it sucks but a lot of these places remember do free returns on the fish dying just bring your water in and they will test it but um if your tank is newly set up the problem is probably in your cycling and what you need to do is go to your fish store and buy some of their uh, their filter pad out of their established tank and just put it in your filter and it'll jump start the tank or maybe um, what I'll do sometimes is buy an established used sponge filter that is inside their tanks I'll say hey instead of me buying that new sponge filter can I buy it for the same price of that used one and they'll say yeah let's do that and it jump starts your tank so um, that's usually the most common thing I see wrong with guppies it's not cycled properly or maybe you're you don't have um, the right dechlorinator. I'll throw a link to um, what's called Prime. It's the best dechlorinator probably on the market that the most people use. Um, it's made by Seachem, great product. Um, just what you do with dechlorinator at, and how you use it is as your, as your new water is being put in your tank, just do the proper dosage of dechlorinator. So hopefully that helps you guys. Uh, like I said, I'll throw a link to the dechlorinator. Maybe you need a sponge filter. I'll throw a link in the description to that. Um, what else? Uh, I wasn't picking my nose. I was scratching. I promise. <laughs> All right, guys. Hit up the comment section with your questions, and I'll do video vlogs uh, answering questions. It's just me blabbing here about aquarium stuff on this channel. So, whoop.